Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Busco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, again, we have another one of the wine basket gift, one of the gift basket wines. Um, this is, uh, again, something I don't have a price for. Uh, but, oh, they've got the order button on here, so I'll see if I can order. No. Yeah. Another one just says order at uh, kiarnawines.com or visit Wine Country Gift Basket. So, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that um, the Wine Country gift baskets probably has something to do with the wines. Nothing bad with that, um, but uh, I'm going to say that that's where the majority of the wines are sold. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Let's get into the wine. All right, so it's, this is the 2009 uh, Kiarna Pinot Noir from the Monterey region of California. And... Uh, like I said, I don't have a price for this, so the lower third won't say what the price is. Pinot Noir. Now, those of you who have watched my show and probably have read about Pinot Noirs and watched other people's reviews um, will know that Pinots should be pretty, pretty light. Like, I can see my fingers a lot. So this actually tells me that it's possible that this is, if it's not 100% Pinot Noir, it's probably pretty darn close. Um, the remaining 15% may not, you know, of, of, because you have to have 85%. Uh, the remaining may not be anything. It, may be, it, it, it could be only 10% of added juice of, of, of other grapes. So um, it's pretty light like 100% Pinots might be. So that's um, exciting for me because we might be getting more of the, the true varietal coming through rather than, you know, they're trying to bump it up with other stuff. So um, <clears throat> let's see how it smells. Okay, immediately I get the stink bomb bit, um, which I seem to find in... Uh, Pinot's more. And, and not, I really shouldn't use Stink Bomb because Stink Bomb um, means, means you're getting more of the sulfur and you don't want that. So that, that's a bad description. I probably shouldn't use Stink Bomb. You get a, a bit of smokiness, but not not barbecue smoke. Well, kind of, yeah. You get, you get there's, there's like a fire smoke, okay? get a bit of that campfire smoke. Cherries, yes. And I know I'm supposed to smell cherries. We'll go right there. Uh, it said cherries. Cherry, blueberry, aromas. I, nope. No, nope, I don't get any blueberry. But then again, you know, everybody's different. Uh, I, I see I see the cherry and I guess light cherry. It's probably a good description. It is pretty light. I get the smokiness. Maybe a hint of like some pepper, like white or black pepper maybe. Not a bad nose. Um, but then again, you know, Pinot Noirs I don't really gravitate towards too much. So it's not necessarily the, what, what my preference is. I right, see how it tastes. bad um, I don't 
don't really taste the oak too much. This is a toasted vanilla oak and ripe berry flavors. I don't, I don't get a whole heck of a lot of that. You know that last one I was supposed to taste some cola stuff? I got a little bit of that. Maybe a hint of cherry. Maybe, you know, I, I should get more of a cherry cola type of thing out of it. The other one, I didn't get a cola thing. Maybe they mixed up the, the descriptions a little bit. But, um, again, light, easy drinking. Uh, I, I would imagine this is probably closer to a 90% uh, Pinot Noir. Um, and not not an eighty five percent Pinot Noir, but uh, if if you're look you know if if you're looking to order some wine online because it, again this is probably not something you're gonna buy in the grocery store or at the liquor store or the wine shop, but uh, if you got this in your wine basket, you're not gonna be disappointed. You're not gonna be like, oh man, this is horrible wine. You, you're gonna be like, okay, it's pretty tasty. You're gonna be like, okay, this will go. Um, I, I just like the other wine. I mean the. Uh, the cliffside, the cliffside wine. You're, you're not going to be, for for, for a wine, you know, for a gift basket. You're going to be like, it's good, okay. Uh, Eighty five again. I think I think it's you know it's decent. If if you had it in the house, if somebody popped open a bottle, you'd be is enjoyable. Um, but it's not something that's going to be really like. Uh, blowing you out of water. At least not for me. I wouldn't be like, oh my god, this is the best Pinot ever. Um, and it's okay. You know, not everything has to be the best ever. Uh, some wines are just good just being like what they are. Um, just like everything else. I mean, it, it, no one's, not everyone's driving the best car ever. If you did, then why would you have all these other cars? I mean, some, some people just want a car that gets them from point A to point B. And some people want a wine. Oh, not wine. Some people want a car that just looks good and they don't care how much gas, they don't care what the gas mileage is on it. So... Uh, this is, you know, a, a wine that gets you from point A to point B. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, cherry and yeah, a little bit of cola action, I guess. All right. Um, yeah, if you had, if you got a gift basket with it, pop open the bottle and enjoy the gift basket, man. I'm telling you. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty, I, 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 I think I like it a little bit better than the Merlot. I don't know. It, it's not enough to give it the extra point, but, um, and, and I like Merlots a lot, and I don't really like Pinots. Well, not really, I, don't, I don't gravitate towards Pinots, but um, I'd probably prefer to drink this one. Maybe if I was drinking it by itself, I'd prefer it. Um, all right, so that's going to do it for today. Um, even though, whether the new website or the old website, over here, PayPal. Um, I don't really bug everybody too much about it, but I'm going to kind of do, go through uh, bugging people a little bit. Uh, click the link. You know, I know a lot of people watch this on uh, Roku or TiVo, so they're not going to the website. Actually, I get a, um, because I distribute the video everywhere, most of the people who watch it don't watch it on the website. They're watching it on iTunes. By the way, you can click a link and subscribe to it. Um, or they're watching it on their set-top boxes, not really going to the website. Nothing wrong with that. Remember, this was not meant to make me millions of dollars. This is really meant to help me educate myself and hopefully educate some other people. But if you want to help me uh, recoup some of the costs, it granted this it didn't cost me anything, but if you want to recoup some of the co help me recoup some of the costs of the wine, of putting everything up on the internet and just time, um, hit the donate button. You know, you can do a one-time donation, do a monthly donation. Uh, there are a couple ads here if you if they're interesting to you and you'd like to learn more about some of those things we'll do that uh, if this is the new website which I, I hate having that in uncertainty about whether it's the new or the old website you'll see that a lot less ads are there but if there's something that's interesting click on it check it out hopefully you can buy something off of it um, anyway that's gonna do it for uh, this show this is Wednesday if you're in the San Antonio area and you have Saturday available, um, drop me a line, and uh, I'm going to be at the Culinaria uh, Grand Tasting Saturday night in the, uh, 
Henry B. Gonzalez uh, Convention, whatever grotto, wherever they're holding it, where they have it every year. Uh, so I'm going to be over there. I'm going to be with uh, Vinnie Crumbs and Press Man. So um, that'd be dad and mom, by the way. Um, I'm going to be hanging out with them. We're going to be enjoying some wine, probably have my spit bucket. Yeah, actually, I will because last year I went, well, not last year, the last time I went, spit buckets were hard to find. Another one of those wine tastings where you could get a wine glass, but that was cool. And you get the little plate where it has a little thing that you put your wine glass in. That was awesome. I still have one of those, I think. So I don't have to spend the five bucks on it. But um, spit buckets were hard to find, and I really didn't like spitting in the river. True story spitting in the river. All right, that's going to do it uh, for tonight, today, and we'll see everybody again next time.